Right, friends, today I got a true crime story for you that, well, I've never heard anything like it. It's just disgusting. It might even make you puke. I found a newspaper article regarding it. It took place in Wales. The death was around 7th or 8th of October in 2020. Let's get into it. If you do end up liking this video, please subscribe. Let me describe the scene to you, right? A police officer wearing a body-worn camera made his way around her cluttered bedroom, every surface covered. There were teetering piles of dirty fries on the floor. There was also grease dripping down at the side. There was a pressure washer. There was an old fridge, McDonald's cups, a two litre bottle of Dr. Pepper and an uneating cake that was bought for her birthday. In fact, her bed was covered in cobwebs and fly feces. I had no idea flies took a shit. Two strips of fly paper hung from the ceiling with 110 insects trapped. Milk bottles and fruit juice cartons filled with urine surrounded Kaylee's bed. There was feces on the floor of her bedroom. The smell was worse than anything the police had ever encountered. Now you have to understand, Kaylee was morbidly obese. She weighed 146 kilograms. And just to help you understand, that's around 22 stones. And for those of you in America, it's 14 pounds of stone, so 22 uh, stones times 14 pounds. She weighed 308 pounds. And the question is, why did she or how did she get so big? Her legs were unusually short, a symptom of spina bifida she developed in the womb, along with hydrocephalus. When police rolled her over, maggots wriggled where she had been lying. Where were her parents? What kind of disgusting, sickening conditions are these? As the trial went on, the jury had to watch footage of this horrendous scene from the body camera. Now her father, Alan Titford, he looked away from the screens. On the video, Alan was never in the bedroom where his daughter lay dead. It was one of his five other children, a young adult who let in the paramedics and police officers. Titford sat at the bottom of the stairs smoking. Kelly's mother, Sarah, remained upstairs. Now both parents were ultimately charged by the police with manslaughter claiming negligence. In December, a month before the trial, December 2020, um, the mother who had their first child aged 16 had pled guilty. However, her partner Alan, he pleaded his innocence. You see, according to him, he claimed during the trial that well, while Kale Kalia was young, right, when she was three, four, five years old, he was okay with her. He was okay taking care of her. But when she became a young adult, when she hit puberty, that's when he stopped caring. That's when he stopped taking care of her. She was born with uh, physical uh, conditions, right? So she needed help going to the bathroom. She needed help uh, bathing herself. He took no part in that. He left it all to Sarah. And he said it's because he was lazy and he was ashamed. And for me, this doesn't fly. He also claimed he was working 15 hours a week. He didn't have much time with the family. I'm sorry, I'm a father myself. When you have kids, they become your priority. I just think he had enough of his family and he actually probably enjoyed working 15 hour shifts more than having to come home and be responsible by attending to his kids. Wanker. However, the judge claimed that Alan Titford's case was weak and contradictory. He was interviewed after his arrest in October 2020. He told detectives that Kaylee had not left her bed since the first lockdown in March. So, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Right? If I read that correctly, it seems she was in her bed for eight months. Eight months? What on earth is wrong with you, Alan and Sarah? Now, it is said that she died around the 9th or 10th of October in 2020. Police actually found the wheelchair in the kitchen, the seat stained with feces and piled up with dirty pillows. Alan insisted he had not noticed anything wrong with the last time he went into her bedroom on the 27th of September 2020, 13 days before she was found dead. Hold on a minute. One, it's atrocious that she was found dead. He didn't even go into her bedroom. So if you don't go into her bedroom 13, for 13 days, right? Forget, forget the incident for a second. You don't go into her bed for 13 days. This confirms, and, and you know she hasn't left her bed during this time. You went two weeks without talking to your daughter? What? As I said, coward. And in fact, on the 27th of September, the only reason he went and spoke to her is because it was her birthday. When he went to give her a hug and a kiss, 
she sh- so she's lying down right and he walks in and so she, so the duvet is covering her right he walks in he goes happy birthday darling whatever whatever but what he didn't see and let me read this out for you you ready he didn't see her so covered legs or her feet which a podiatrist examining photos of her dead body said were the worst they had seen in 30 years or her toenails which she could not reach because of her morbid obesity and mobility issues and had not been cut for 6 to 10 months now i know what you're thinking what happened to the parents well the trial happened and the parents were found guilty but the sentence has not yet been set the sentence is for march the 1st however for me i mean the story hasn't ended yet one of the worst parts of this case was the day before she died her father so her father's watching tv right alan the tit is watching tv and he hears a loud noise he's hearing a noise and it turns out it's his daughter screaming asking for help complaining about chest pains what does he do he shouts stop screaming this motherfucker and it was the next day where in the morning a mother goes upstairs and finds that she's dead the paramedics arrived around 15 minutes later but by then it was way too late and even leading up to her death the school that she went to did contact her parents numerous times asking them where is she we haven't seen kaylee in a while and they claim that she fell off her wheelchair and she's injured and she needs to stay home what's also sad is that at the age of 3 the parents knew she was overweight in fact for britain she was in the 1% of children who were considered overweight at that age i mean in primary school i think in america that's elementary school she was referred to a dietitian imagine being that young and your parents feed you so bad that you have to see a dietitian again i'm in my 30s i've never spoken to a dietitian ever she was known to social services and until 2012 was classed as a child in need which meant she was considered unlikely to reach a reasonable standard of health or development without intervention between the ages of 8 and 12 the family managed her weight quite well this is what the court heard but let us slide after that when she was admitted to hospital for a series of operations and was able to help herself to food in the kitchen now her cause of death was classed as inflammation and infection in extensive areas of ulceration arising from obesity and its complications and immobility in a girl with spina bifida and hydrocephalus i'm not going to lie i have no idea what that means but the jury did find that they could have managed her weight and that the parents were responsible and i have no thoughts on this except you bunch of fucking idiots what are you doing it's a stupid isn't it as stupid and as silly as this sounds like during the trial right one of the parents said that let me read it out to you they did not consider her to be dangerously heavy because they just thought she was big like the rest of the family now i can kind of understand this i'm not justifying what they did but i can kind of understand this because i'm not trained in health or you know obesity all that kind of stuff right the parents aren't so they must have looked at the child and thought oh okay yeah she she might be eating too much or whatever but you know she's fine some kids are big some kids are small this is maybe what they were thinking but the reason why that doesn't fly is because when she was screaming in pain what did her father do he did the worst thing you can ever do to a human being ignore them fuck these motherfuckers comment tell me what you think